Hi. Today I'm going to talk about the last type of uh, 2D linear transformation, which is shears. And what a shear is, is you have the XY plane, and it's easy to think about what happens to the unit square. So this is just a square with sides of length 1, with one of its vertices at the origin. And what a shear does, um, a shear along the uh, X direction will transform the, the rectangle into this parallelogram. So uh, you can think of it as uh, pulling the, the XY plane parallel, you're pulling lines in the XY plane parallel to the X axis. So what that looks like as a matrix is you have X, Y, X prime, Y prime equals 1, K, 0, 1 times X, Y, where K is some real number. K could be positive or negative. This is what I call S, K. This is the shear with parameter K. And a uh, nice property about shears, this is S, X, so you can have shears in other directions as well. I'm only going to talk about shears in the x direction. But, um, uh, and then, for instance, if you had a shear in the y direction, you have x prime y prime equals, and then you have 1, 0, k1, that's y of k. So what a shear in the x direction does, notice that it, uh, and if you write down the coordinates, which I probably should have done. So let's look at the x shear. You get x prime equals x plus ky, and y prime equals y. So you notice that it leaves y alone, which you can see from this diagram here, y equals 1, that doesn't change. So upper uh, edge of the parallelogram stays in y equal to 1, but the x values are changing according to this one. And uh, shears have the nice property that if you multiply them, so if you multiply a shear with parameter k times a shear with parameter k prime, and remember multiplication always appears from right to left, this is just equal to shear with parameter k plus k prime. And similarly for y, if you shear in the y direction by parameter k and follow that by shear in the y direction with parameter k prime, you get shear y, k plus k prime. And the consequence of all this is if you, the, the inverse of a shear, x or y, x, x, k inverse is just x, x minus k. Similarly for y. And another consequence is that if you did this n times, Shears add, the amount of shearing adds, kind of like rotation. So that's all I have to say about shearing. Thank you.